Okay, so today's topic is all is fair in love and war. Now that's a quote. Um, and that quote is very true because morals, rules, and all that stuff, they don't really apply to love and war, okay? It's, you know, survival of the fittest, the strongest, the smartest, the most equipped, okay? The most determined. So, this is how I approach relationships, love, and all that kind of stuff. All is fair in love and war. And when I say that, I'm not trying to say it's not smart to have morals, because it is. But you have to know when and how to use those morals to get what you want in love, okay? Um, just because you have morals does not mean that there are always going to uh, be needed at certain times. Sometimes you have to set your morals aside. Sometimes you have to really embrace your morals in order to accomplish certain things, okay? So, <clears throat> It's, it's not fair. Love is not fair. And it never will be and it never was. Relationships are not fair. And they never will be and they never were. Okay? It is a battle of the mental. Okay? It is also a thing where once you're in this relationship or once you've gotten married or once you're in a partnership now it is maintaining okay so first you got to play a game to get and you have to play a game to maintain okay it's it's a it's chess okay if you don't know how to play chess it's all about it's all about strategy it's all about perspective it's all about sacrifice and it's all about protection, okay? So, as a as a woman, you you are the queen on the board of chess, okay? You are the most valuable piece even though when they get the king it's checkmate, but the queen is the most valuable piece because she can move any type of way, she can do more than the king. She is basically you know, running the board if she, you know, needs to be used. Now, if y'all know how to play chess, you know, don't worry about it. The queen is the most powerful piece on the board. The king, if he's captured, you lose the game, okay? So basically, if you capture the, the king of the other side, you win, okay? So, uh, so uh, your mission is to get the king, okay? <laughs> so, Whatever it takes, whatever you think you need to do, whatever advice you get and it, apply it towards your goal of securing this king or this man that you desire, do it. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel the guilt. Don't think about karma. Don't do this and that. Because uh, if y'all watch my other channel, y'all know I don't do karma, okay? Karma is just a way to uh, make you feel guilty for doing something in your best interest or to make you feel you know good okay like for example a lot of people say well if you cheat on somebody and there it's karma's going to come back to you and somebody's going to cheat on you and blah, blah 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 if you really believe that and you're worried about that and you're like oh my god 
I'm in a relationship and now karma's gonna get me. I, I know he's gonna cheat on me because I cheated on my last boyfriend and karma's out to get me. What are you doing? You're vibrating this worry about him cheating on you. So you're attracting it to you through the law of attraction. Now you're always paranoid and looking and upset and super suspicious and you're bugging him and thinking he's cheating when he's probably not. And then he says, you know what? You think I'm cheating, I might as well go cheat. And then you just brought it onto yourself. So karma is more of a fear tactic. You know, karma is more like the, um, the stuff they show you on TV to hype you up and to be scared of everything on the news to where you live your life in fear, don't want to go outside. Yeah, that's karma, okay? If you don't live in fear and you don't carry around guilt because you did something wrong um, and just say, oh, I made a mistake. You know, people don't feel as guilty about making mistakes as they feel like they did something wrong, right? So, don't carry around no guilt. You won't have any karma, okay? Uh, and don't worry about people say people, 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 whatever. I'm worried about what you think and how you feel and what you're attracting to yourself, okay? So, when you get rid of that fake karma that people tried to put on you to keep you from doing what you needed to do in the first place to get to where you needed to get, okay? Don't worry about that, okay? That's just part of the game. So, now that you've got this man that you probably stole from somebody else, if you stole him or, you know, whatever you had to do, to get him you know now what now what do you do you know how do you keep him now how do you keep him okay you keep him by you know telling him you know I'm so glad to be with you you know um, what do you want to do you know in the future what do you see us in five years you know make future plans together don't don't sit there and hope and wish that he's going to be in your future or that he's thinking about you in that way put it in his mind put it in his mind you know you start talking about it say you know what in about five years i think we should go to you know such and such island or i, th I think we should start saving up for our you know our honeymoon whenever we decide to get married don't put a date out there to say whenever we decide to get married i think we should have our money saved so that we can go somewhere cool okay say so I'm not trying to like say get married now but I know eventually I'm gonna to want to get married you know just put yourself out there like that just like, eventually I'm gonna to want to get married so I'm gonna start saving up for the honeymoon okay um, so every week you need to put ten dollars in this savings account blah 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 okay so <clears throat> oh shoot there's something yeah, so start making future plans together. The more things you do together as a couple, the more things you plan together, the more places you go together, um, without overbearing, you know, everybody needs their time apart, but the more things that you plan together, the more secure your future will be, okay? So if you're one of those kind of people who just wait and sees, you know, see what happens, like whatever comes my way comes my way, you're not taking control of your situation. You're letting things happen. You're letting air. You're letting air in. You're letting uh, opportunity in for other women. Okay, because if your man goes out and he has in his mind that in five years we're going to this destination, we're saving up for it. We have this plan. Uh, we've already picked out, uh, you know, uh, that the luggage or I don't know something stupid like order something to have a visual like order some nice luggage off of online say like this is what we're going to use on our trip or on our honeymoon or whatever so that there's a physical reminder and when this isn't like a man's head they're less likely to go out and see what else is out there because now they're committed whether they um, know it or not now they're committed because now they have made plans with you they they visualize their future and you're there Okay, so now that that now they know, oh my God, I can't do this because I'm supposed to go here, you know, then, and this this chick doesn't fit into the to the plan because I gotta save this money. I can't spend it on her, and you know, never mind, forget it. Let me just go home. <laughs> you know, it stops your man from trying to make other plans and think and visualize other people in their lives when you're already in that spot. Okay, 
So say stuff, talk about it. I know a lot of girls uh, are told not to talk about marriage when you first get together. Don't talk about marriage, talk about the honeymoon. There's a difference. One is pressure. One is I already know we're gonna get married. I'm not trying to set a date. I know, you know eventually we'll do it. I'm thinking about the afterwards, the vacation, the fun part of it, the, um, you know, the good side of it. I'm not trying to get you to commit right now. I'm just saying, I'm gonna wanna go on a vacation after we get married, you know? And if they're kind of hesitant about that and like, okay, what do you mean honeymoon? I, 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 well, then if they say, oh, what, what do you mean honeymoon? Like they haven't decided if they're going to marry you or not. It's like, well, okay, well, vacation, whatever. You know, I'm going somewhere in five years. I know that. Somewhere spectacular. I'm going in five years. This is my plan. I just thought it would be the honeymoon since, you know, we're together. But it doesn't have to be a honeymoon, you know, whatever. So now it's still in their head that you want this to be your honeymoon and if he says okay well i'm going to be saving up for this trip and if we do get married then i'm going to have to pay for another trip so dang now he's trying to save money in his head <laughs> so maybe this should be our honeymoon maybe we should just have a destination wedding so i don't have to pay for that either you see Mhm. Mm <laughs> okay so now that y'all are planning things together, pick out things together, you know, pick out furniture together, pick out clothes together. Let him pick you out an outfit, pick him out an outfit. Be in each other's lives um, and don't leave things up to chance. Take the control in your hand. Like if you want your man to dress a certain way and you don't like his outfit, take him to the store with you. Try on some clothes. Ask him to try on clothes for for you. Say, oh my God, let me see how you look in these. These are so, I like these. And it's going to be like, uh, okay. And it's like, oh, they turned me on or something stupid like that. And he'll put them on. He'll be like, then you start like, ooh, I like how they fit on your body. And, da, da, da. and then he'll buy them because then he thinks other women are going to think that he looks good in them too. So he's going to buy them and he's going to look good for you. <laughs> so... Slowly but surely, you can kind of mold him into the partner or the life partner that you want. Um, subconsciously, physically, and stuff like that. Like, if it, like, let's just say if your man, it, you want your man to have more muscle or something, and um, he's okay, but you want him to be built, right? All you got to do is say, oh my God, I'm getting ready to get this membership to the gym. They got a two-for-one special. Or something stupid like that or um, <clears throat> oh my goodness uh, you would be so irresistible to other women if you like lifted weights and worked out I'm so glad you don't work out because I will have to fight for you and uh, reverse psychology right I will have to fight to keep the women from off of you then all of a sudden you're going to notice him and going to start trying to work out. <laughs> because now he's thinking about, you know, she's right. If I was muscular, she, I might, I might attract all these different types of women and, you know, they might like me and I might get all this attention and maybe she'll be giving me more sex if I get some muscle. I don't know. Um, so then he, subconsciously you reverse psychology to him and now he's going to start working out a little bit he's going to start doing some push-ups or something you know so there are little sneaky ways to get what you want in love there there are tricks psychology methods so don't be afraid to use those that's what they're there for i mean what else are you going to use them for uh, <laughs> don't leave your relationship up to chance because there's a chance they could leave take the power in your own hands and control the situation as much as you can you know be able to mold it you know you can't change everything you can't make somebody into something that they're not but you can sort of mold and you can sort of suggest and you can sort of lead the way by example and you can sort of plant something in their mind for it to grow over time but you, you can do all of that it's called mentalism and a lot that's how people are programmed in society you know you look at a picture so long of what the ideal um, image of beauty is and then every everything else becomes ugly 
or everything else becomes unacceptable. Same thing you can do with a man. Use your brain. That's why you don't have to be the most beautiful woman in the world. You just have to be smart and strategic and know how to play the game. Okay, I'll see y'all later.